Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and start seated today. Um, we're gonna move through a little bit of breath work and then just some easy stretches um, before we get into the vinyasa part of class. Again, we already covered this, but if you've got two blocks, um, that's helpful and a blanket. Um, and here we go. So we're gonna start seated. When I'm seat seated at the beginning of classes, I really like to sit up on something. Um, this just helps with getting the hips a little bit above, uh, above the knees, helps the hip flexors to relax a little bit. And then I find that I can really feel grounded my sit bones and then a really nice, easy length through the spine. Um, not only does it just feel more sustainable to sit here, but the breath is just gonna flow a little bit easier. So go ahead and take your way into whatever feels like an easy seat for you. It might be kneeling. If cross-legged is too much for you, you can sit up. And kneel if you're kneeling, maybe sitting on a block or so again, just to get the hips up. And we'll go ahead here and close the eyes. And I just want you to bring your awareness to your breath in whatever way, shape, pathway, form that pops up for you. And just take a few moments to Notice the breath with a bit of care. If you could turn a lot of that love that I think we're all love and care that's going very outwardly at this particular point in our lives, just take a moment here to see if you can almost put out um, like blinders or mirrors and then fold those in on yourself and just sit here in a space of reflection for a few moments. Notice what's going on with the breath today for you as you come into your yoga practice. Oftentimes there's clues hidden in the breath, right? There's clues in the texture, in the depth of our breath, in the qualities. And sometimes the more you sit with the breath, you might also feel tapped into particular areas of the physical body. You might also feel tapped into particular areas of the emotional and mental bodies as well. So if any of that is also coming up as you're sitting here in this space of attention with the breath, just allow it. Noticing sometimes it's helpful to name those things that show up. And as much as you can, I like to play with the imagery of water here as I'm noticing my breath and kind of tapping into and flowing through some of the noticings here in these aspects of my experience in the moment, specifically when it comes to physical stuff and emotional stuff that can be really easy to attach. Uh, but just imagining you were at the edge of the beach kind of looking out at the waves and the waves are coming in. If the waves were emotions or physical discomfort, you're separate from them. Right? You can notice them, you can enjoy them, you can perceive them, right? but you're not them. And from here, go ahead and bring your awareness to your heart space. Physically, emotionally, and then also if you can transfer the origin of the breath to be around the space of the heart. I just want you to spend the next several moments here taking big, expansive inhales into the space of the heart, and then exhale, letting that come back in like a hug around the space of your heart. Deep inhales in. And out. Continuing here for several rounds of breath. And as you're taking these big expansive inhales and exhales, you're building capacity physically here in the side body. You're expanding the space of the heart. Noticing here, before we begin to move today, how can you nourish yourself through practice today? 
what would nourishment look like for you in the next hour? Playing that inquiry across the breath. All right, so maybe you're needing deep breaths. Maybe you're needing to calm and smooth the breath. Playing that inquiry out into the physical body, noticing in this all levels practice today, do you want to show up with some more vigor? Do you need to soften? You need to ground in your qualities. And then also in the emotional body. So how can you tend to yourself here? How can you nourish yourself in the emotional body? Sometimes it's helpful to take a word with you from this moment forward into practice. Just a memory, a wisdom that maybe you can plant into the heart space here. And come back to you throughout class, something to cultivate. And then in this inquiry, we just spent several moments kind of probing into some questions. See if you can just invite in some lightness here, right? Maybe even shake the body out a tiny little bit. Just reminding yourself that the inquiries here are important. Without them, nothing ever changes, but we also don't have to take it all so seriously, right? This is trusting our body's inner wisdom to move us through practice in the way that we want and to meet us with that attention that we're cultivating now so that this practice can serve us both in the next hour on the mat and then, of course, off the mat. Go ahead and bring both hands to heart center, gently pressing left to right, letting the thumbs come down, taking a deep inhale in. Exhaling it out. Feeling the collective energy of this group. Another deep breath in. Exhale it out. One last final deep breath in. And then on the exhale, just let the arms come out to the side, letting the arms open wide, palms facing up. Lift the pinky finger slightly, maybe even soften the elbows. And just scoop the heart up. Big, nice, glorious chest opener here. Deep breath in. Maybe taking the arms even a little bit into the back body. And then on an exhale, taking the left arm across the right, hugging to the shoulder blades here, maybe even the tops of the shoulders, dropping the chin to the chest, and then just rounding the upper spine, the space behind the heart a little bit. Couple rounds of breath here. The inhales, you should feel really moving to the back space of the body. Exhale, feel rooted down through the sit bones, and then on the next inhale, lengthen up through the spine, and then peel the arms back out wide and open. Nice, big, juicy chest opener. Exhale, other arm across, hugging for shoulders, dropping the chin to the chest, maybe even rounding this upper spine a little bit so you're really feeling that space coming into the upper part of the vertebrae right here between the shoulder blades around the back space of the heart. <laughs> but on an inhale, peel it out wide and open. Nice, and then exhale, hands come to the front of the knees. We're just gonna take some uh, circles. I forgot what the shape was called for a second. <laughs> We're gonna take some circles through the spine, one direction, and then the other. And these can be as small or as big as you want, just depending on what's going on with your back. We're taking the range of motion now into our low back, so be kind sensitive area. Good. And then go ahead and come on up and just shake the legs forward. And we're going to cross in the opposite direction. <clears throat> you can still stay up onto this prop if you've got it. Otherwise, if now you're going to work it out, that's fine. We'll inhale, reach the arms all the way up, turn the pinky fingers towards the face. Exhale, take the right fingertips down to the side bodies. Really press down through these fingertips, lengthen the spine, and reach up through the left arm. Then exhale, take the length of the left side body over to the right. So you'll see I'm not really side bending a lot here. I go a lot further down into the range of motion. When I'm thinking about rooting through this left sit bone and reaching, assisting, and breathing here into my left side body like you were gills of a fish, right? So that much space. Good. Inhale, come back up through center. Other side, left fingertips come down, press through the left fingertips, get long, and exhale over to the right. Again, bending into your length. Anchoring through the right hip. 
Good, on an inhale, come back up through center. We're just gonna take this side to side with the breath. Really easy, really free form. You might even get a little bit more flowy here with the side bodies, but you're still focusing on that length as you take the exhale, the side bend. Inhale, comes back through center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, through center. This time, come over to the right. Anchor through the left hip, turn this top palm out and away and flex through the heel of that hand. Then draw the heel of the hand down, maybe the shoulder height, maybe a little lower, just until you find the space of sensation. And then take a nice juicy wrist circles here. You can turn and drop the chin towards the shoulder, or maybe just drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. Good. On an inhale, sweep the arm back into the side bend. Exhale, press it down. Two more big circles, inhale, sweep. Exhale, press it down. This time as you inhale, sweep the arm across the body and then scoop the heart and the gaze up under the left shoulder. Good, exhale, stay. Inhale, come up through center and right over to the other side. Coming into the side bend, turn the top palm out and right, flex and then draw this hand out, really reach as you're drawing it. Out to the side to the shoulder, maybe a little lower. Taking those nice wrist circles, both directions. And then let the arms slide across the front of the body on an inhale. Exhale, flex and draw it down. Two more times, inhale, sweep. Exhale, draw it down. Last time, inhale, sweep it across and roll this right shoulder back, right side body back, really open to the front of the body. Good. Then inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, hands down to heart center. And just take a moment here to feel any of that tingling down through the arms, through the shoulder, the neck. And then walking it forward, we'll come into tabletop. Hands on your shoulders, feet in distance apart. Right into cat cow. So I love starting every single one of my practices with cat cow. Noticing here as you're coming into this that you might benefit from making these really tiny today. You might also really want a big dynamic stretch. Part of the success of cat cow really comes from syncing up the movements with the breath. So really bring the inhale to the back space of the body. And then exhale, breathe space into the belly and the front of the heart. Good. Continuing here. Good. And then on an inhale, press down through the hands and the knees come wide, big toes come untucked, sitting back into child's. Good. Inhale, we're just going to ripple the spine here, come up onto the fingertips, walk them forward. Exhale, melt the heart. Inhale, come back up, fingertips. Exhale, melt the heart. Good. Then inhale, come up onto fingertips. Exhale, melt the heart. Inhale, come back up to tabletop. Bring the knees back under the hips and then scoop them back just a couple inches. So you're kind of in a modified plank here. On an exhale, bend the elbows in towards the side bodies and then press down through the hands. Inhale, come back up, straighten the arms. Exhale, bend and lower. Inhale, come on. One more time. Exhale, bend and lower. This time, stay. Take a deep breath and scoop the heart forward. Zip up through the front of the pelvis. Take a deep breath in, relax the neck, relax the muscles of the face, and then slowly lower all the way down to the belly. Tops of the feet are gonna press, and we're gonna take the arms out to the side so that the elbows, ripple the fingertips, the elbows are winged up towards the ceiling for three baby cobras. Press down through the pubic bone on an inhale, scoop the heart up. And then on an exhale, reach the heart forward as you ground the side down. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, roll it down. This last time we're going to come up and stay. Inhale, press down through the pubic bone, press down through the tops of the feet, and then turn the gaze to the left. Come back through neutral. Turn the gaze to the right. Come back through neutral. Exhale, bring the chest down, hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes. And come back up into the tabletop, deep breath in. Exhale, sit it back in the child's. Just rock the belly to each side here, side to side. 
Continuing to get more fluid into the low back and the hips as we warm up. And then back into down dog when you're ready. So the hands will be shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider. Feet are hip distance apart. And I really like to take my first down dogs of the day with my knees bent because what that does is it allows me to get the proper alignment in my upper body here. Knitting through the front ribs, engaging my core, and pressing down through the pointer and the thumb finger so that I can really get that stretch into my uh, upper arms. And then maybe pedaling through the feet. And then we'll find our way into stillness here on an inhale, rise up onto the toes, bend the knees a lot and gaze towards the front of the mat, step forward. Feet will come hip distance apart, just one flat back today, breathing the hands to the shins or the earth, open the heart forward. Exhale, melt and round down, soften the knees, and roll right on up to standing. Good. So we're gonna reach the arms up, and on an exhale, I'll turn to face you. Take the left hand here. I'm going to come down so you can see me in the right for the back of the standing. My right hand around the left wrist. Reach up here first, and then take it into a side bend. Notice as you're coming into the side bend, what's not happening is you're rocking forward and closing off the space of the heart. So keep that left shoulder rolling back and the right side body moving forward as you're in this expression. Really press down through the left outside edge of the foot. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, bend both elbows wide, lift the space of the heart. Good, take a breath in. Exhale, press the forearms together, tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale, reach both arms up. Left hand this time comes around the right wrist, reach up and take it into a side bend to the left. Gaze might be up under the right shoulder. Good. Then inhale, come up through center. Exhale, bend both elbows. Inhale, scoop them forward, lift the heart. Exhale, bring the hands around the heart center. Or sorry, to press forms together, putting the stretch in the back of the body, and then lay on the thumbs at the heart center. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, sit the fingertips and the hips low. Let the fingertips brush past the feet. And we're going to stay here and share, but we're taking it really low with the hips. The fingertips are reaching back. And we're dialing the pinky fingers towards the face. So you have this nice opening across the front of the chest. Then reach back with the fingertips. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, maybe sit a little lower. Inhale, maybe lift the hips a little bit. Exhale, low. Inhale, lift. One more time. Exhale, low. Inhale, lift. And then this exhale is a bent like forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins or the earth, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back into plank. And take a breath here in plank to push the earth away, even lift the hips a tiny little bit so you feel the front of the core turn on. Rock toes forward and then lower down and move either through chaturanga, baby cobra, or chaturanga to up dog. Your choice. Taking your time here. And then coming back in to your down dog. Good. On an inhale, lift the right leg. On an exhale, step it forward towards the front of the mat and lower the back knee down. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, frame the front foot. And we're coming to stand on the right leg, lift the left. Exhale, standing forward, fold. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, bend the front knee, lower the back knee to the back of the mat. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, frame the front foot. Inhale, sweep that left leg back in high. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, rise up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees a lot. Inhale, come forward to plank. Press down through the hands, lift the hips, send it back and up to down dog. Whole thing one more time. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it forward. Back knee comes down. Press through the feet. Lift the torso high. Exhale, frame the front foot. Inhale, come to stand on the left leg. Right leg lifts. Exhale, standing forward. Fold, shift the weight to the right foot. Breath in, left leg lifts. 
Exhale, bend both knees, low lunge, inhale, arms lift high. Exhale, bring the front foot. Inhale, sweep the right leg back and high. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, rise up high onto the toes. Bend the knees a lot on the exhale. Inhale, glide forward to plank. Exhale, back and up. Down dog. Nice. Deep breaths in here, taking a moment to pause. You can always come down to child. We've got about three more breaths before we move on. If you have your blocks and they're not quite nearby, you can go ahead and grab them now and just scoop them towards the front of the mat. We'll need them for this next sequence. Okay. On an inhale, go ahead and lift the right leg. Exhale, step the right foot towards the right hand and lower the knee down. Good. <clears throat> Grab your blocks if you'd like to use them. You don't have to use your blocks, but I really like using them for this. Coming up onto the fingertips here in your low lunge and draw this right thigh bone back. So you might even lift the hips back slightly. Press down through both feet, coming up onto the fingertips here. See if you can just lift the heart. Nice. Then take the hands onto the blocks, tuck the back toes, walk the hands back, and curl the front toes back, coming into half on on. We're just going to move back and forth. So these are the full ranges of the motion. You can take it halfway if you'd like. You do you. On an inhale, you'll come forward into your little lunge. On an exhale, walking it back. Coming into half on on, really curl the toes back. Do this just a few more times. You can make this as straightforward or as expressive as you'd like. Good. The next time you come into half Hanuman, go ahead and stay there. Glide the right heel forward so that this hip, left hip is over the left knee with the toes tucked. And then without actually moving the right heel, just suck it back. So this is going to draw the right hip underneath, the right thigh when I move underneath. Come up onto the fingertips on your blocks or fingertips on the earth, open up the heart, then on an exhale, round the spine down. We're just gonna kind of wave the spine here a few times. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, round it down. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, round it down, this time staying. So you can come as far down as feels sustainable, you can take a flat back variation here or round the spine. That's totally fine. Drawing nourishment in through the breath. So we're probably most of us feeling this into the back of the right hamstring. See if you can really draw in nourishment. And then exhale, release. Inhale, coming back up onto the fingertips. The legs are going to stay just as they are. We're going to take both of our blocks or just both of our hands and walk them off to the right side of the mat, drawing the right hip back and coming up onto these fingertips. The shoulders are going to try to rotate all the way over to the right, so you're in a bit of a twist here. You will likely be feeling this in the outside, the right, uh, outside of the right hip. Keep breathing. Nice, and then walk the blocks around to the other side. You can just leave them off here for a sec. Walk the hands around, spin the left heel underneath you, and the right foot comes down. Parallel towards the top of the mat. <clears throat> Good. On an inhale, reach the right fingertips high. Breathe the heart open. Exhale, we're going to glide this right hand underneath and reach, bending the left elbow. Two more times. Press down through that left hand. Draw the shoulder up and in, reach the right fingertips high. Exhale, glide it through. Good. Last time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, glide it through. This time we're coming down to stay. You can come all the way down onto the shoulder and the cheek, that's great. Even if you can, it might feel nice to grab your block or even, I like the folded blanket here, just for my cheek. It feels really nice.
Then press down through that left hand, engage the core, and bring the bottom back up and out. One last big stretch here. Exhale, hands come underneath the shoulders. We're gonna keep scooting this left ankle underneath us, walking around with the hands to the back of the mat. Square the hips down and come onto the right big toe mounts as the hands come under the shoulders. From here, press through the shoulders, engage the core, and just lift the left knee off the earth. Options to stay here or just kiss it. Elbow, 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 a couple times. And when you're done, you're done. Just press back through that left foot. Exhale, lower and plank. Take a breath in and then choose. Maybe you'd like to move forward through the vinyasa. Maybe you want to lower back into child's. Maybe you want to come back into down dog. Just take a few rounds of breath here to take any of that organic movement that you'd like. And then we'll meet back in down dog. Deep breath in. Exhale it out. On an inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, step it forward and lower the knee down. Grab your blocks. Mm, framing the front foot, coming up onto the fingertips here. Press down, draw the left thigh bone back and open up through the heart and the chest. Nice. Then grab the blocks and we start that forward to back motion. So my anatomy it helps if I move my knee back here. And then curl the toes. Every inhale as you walk forward, really let the breath and the heart sweeping forward be the finishing touch on that inhale. Exhale, where we round it back. Forward to back, forward to back. Nice. Next time you come back into Hav Hanuman, we'll go ahead and stay here. Coming up on the blocks, checking for that right hip over the right knee, and flexing through the toes and the ankle. Draw that back. You can see here I'm drawing it up and back enough that my mat kind of hovers. Go. <laughs> nice. And then press down onto the fingertips on an exhale, round the spine. Inhale, peel it up. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, peel it up. Last one, exhale around the spine, and this time we'll come down and stay. So you might want to be over the leg, you might be in the flat back. Pick somewhere sustainable, and if you're curious about what sustainable is, look to the breath. So if you feel the breath shortening, see if you can find a way to make the breath a little bit more spacious. It might be coming up, it might be bending this front knee a little bit. Lots of different options there to make more space in the breath and still get the benefit of the posture. So this whole full expression thing is kind of silly. <laughs> really, it's just about drawing the breath and making the practice sustainable. Okay. So from here, we're moving into that side twist. The blocks will come up onto the left side and the shoulders come with you, drawing the left hip back. Flexing through the left toes is really what's gonna bring us into the outside of the left hip. Again, look for clues in the breath. Adjust accordingly here. And then we're walking back around. So you can take the blocks and move them off to the sides. We're spinning that right heel under us, <clears throat> turning the left outside edge of the foot down. And then the left arm this time is going to reach high. Open up the face of the heart. Really big here, you guys. Really, really big. Exhale, thread it through. Two more times. Inhale, press, open up. Make this feel just so yummy. Exhale, thread. One more time. Inhale, all the way up. This time we're coming down to stay for a few rounds of breath. So maybe if you did so on the other side, you gather up those props, pillows, cuddle, cuddle props. <laughs> Good, and then starting to make your way back out. <clears throat> right hand plants, left arm swoops high. Bring both hands down. And then we're walking back around to the front of the mat with the hands. This right heel's gonna keep spinning under you, spin out of the left toe. 
Hands under the shoulders here. Press down. Notice that the hands and the back leg here are in plank, essentially. And you're just going to float the right knee up. Maybe you stay there. Maybe it moves side to side. Like as many times as you'd like. And once you're done, you're kicking that right foot back. Lowering slowly into plank. Taking a breath in here just to feel how strong you are. And then choosing where you want to go. Maybe down. Maybe back. Maybe into child's. Taking a few rounds of breath here to nourish this in-between space in the practice. If you're not already in down dog, we'll go ahead and meet back in down dog. On an inhale, lift through the toes. Exhale, bend the knees a lot, face towards the front of the room. Step forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, melt. Press down through the feet, reverse swan dive. Come all the way up to the top of the mat. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Good. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let the arms fall down towards the sides. Two breaths here just to feel your feet. And then feel all the way up to the heart. Feel that length through the top of the crown of the head. And then exhale, direct the awareness all the way back down. Strengthen the feet. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, pull the leg. Inhale, take the flat back. Plant the hands and we'll come back into down dog. Always an option here to sneak in a flow. If what you're cultivating here is some more heat and more energy, otherwise just make your way back. Next breath in, lift through the right leg, hips are square, and slowly step the right foot towards the right hand. We're coming up into high lunge. That back heel's gonna stay lifted. Find your blocks, so you'll meet those towards the front of the mat in just a few moments. Inhale, come all the way up. Thanks. So from here, press to straighten through that right leg. Press down through the right leg, tone down, and draw the right hip back. You're still lifted on this left, these left big tone out here. Then exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Good. One more time. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, stay here. Relinking through the side bodies. And then exhale, the pulse is coming to the back leg. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, soften. Inhale, straighten. Last time. Exhale, soften. Inhale, straighten. We're just going to exhale, soften, and come down to hover this knee off the earth. Take the arms wide, left arm over right, your equal arms. Take a deep breath. Notice the more you press down through your feet and wrap this right hip back and down. You can lengthen through the spine here and keep the breath nice and easy while the low body kind of relishes a bit strength down there. One more deep breath in. Exhale, unwind the arms on an inhale. Lengthen through that back leg, arms reach high. And then we're going to straighten through this front leg. Again, keep the back hip lift. We're back to lift it. Right hand comes to the front of the right hip. Reach the fingertips forward. If this back foot is too much off balance, just turn it down. We're coming into Trikonasana. Through a flat back here to start. The right hand is here to anchor so that you can lengthen the spine long, almost like you could breathe space between the vertebrae. Take a breath in. This is where we grab our blocks. Even if you can reach for the earth, just to grab the box, maybe you just turn it down into a lower setting. We're going to inhale, rock all the way onto the left big toe mount, and then exhale, roll back through the foot and flex the right toes up. Inhale, rock it forward. Exhale, rock it back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Last time, inhale, forward. And then exhale, back. Look down at the feet here. So I like to take my trick mass on a little wider. You can have that back heel in alignment at the center of the front foot. I just like it a little bit wider for balance. 
And then also it's easier for me to scoop my right hip back and around so the weight is even between both of my feet. Come up under the fingertips. Deep breath in. Exhale. Flow the spine. Inhale. Peel it. Exhale. Roll it down. Inhale. Up. And then exhale down. This time to stay. You might be still here about halfway down. Maybe you want to round and bring the nose down to the knee. Your choice. Soft micro bend in this front knee just helps to keep the stretch sustainable so we're not over working the back of the leg. Good. And then come back on up on a breath in. We're going to scoot this left block in slightly to the inside of the right foot. Hands stay there, and this right arm is going to come around. Heel the hand presses on the sacrum. And I want you to kind of rock forward here and round the low spine. And then press through the heel of the hand, draw the hips back and lengthen the heart forward. So you're really in a flat back here. Good. Press down through the big toe mound of the right foot. And on an inhale, just start to roll the shoulders open as far as it's sustainable for you. So you might want to just open about a centimeter. <laughs> no joke. You might really be feeling this moving into a twist. If that's you, keep this right hip drawing back as you roll it open. Maybe you release this right arm all the way up. Deep breath in. Exhale out. One more deep breath in here. If the arms open, really reach. Exhale. Take the hands down. We're coming to spin to the side of the mat. So spin to the left. Turn out through the left toes. Come onto the right heel here. And just take a side to side stretch. Move it side to side. Just get some blood flow back into the hamstrings. If this is too much for the knees, you can keep the outside of the feet parallel to one another and just move side to side. Okay, but I just want you to get a little bit of blood flow back here. Next time you come around to the front of the mat, go ahead and spin back around. We're going to come right back into that revolved trikonasana. So the back foot spins down. The left hand comes up onto the block. Breathe the arm high or bring it to the sacrum. Then shift the gaze down towards the earth. Bend through this front knee, reach the block forward, maybe about six to eight inches. And we're coming into revolved half moon, using the block. So standing, pressing through that right leg to straight, kicking back through the left foot. Before you go anywhere, kick back your looking over on a wall with that left foot and lift the heart forward, really use the block. Then roll the right shoulder back and start to come around and do a revolve trikonasana again. One more deep breath. And then exhale, unwind. Both hands can come down towards the earth or down towards the blocks. Just take a nice stretch here. Standing splits. Good. Bend through this right leg. Lower the left toes down onto the earth. Inhale, sweep the right leg back and high. Nice. And then exhale, shift the shoulders over the wrist, bring the right knee either under the hip or towards the chest. And we're just going to drop out to the outside edge of the mat. Flex through this foot that I'm wiggling at you guys, the right foot. Flex. And then see if you can just lower the hips a little bit to get into the right outside edge of that hip that was just working so hard. Some of you might want to come the whole way down. That's totally fine. I actually feel like I can get a better stretch if I stay higher. Good. Then bend this knee down onto the earth. Keep the right toes to the left side of the mat. Tuck the left knee in behind. Spin it to the right side of the mat. And then find a block or a blanket. We're just going to go ahead and sit back. Oh, hips. Trikonasana series gets me every time. Feel this rooting down through the sit bones. My hands can come down to the feet here. I'm not joking. I gave myself a foot massage pretty much every time I come to this posture because it feels good and it's accessible. So that's an option. You can also just rest the hands. You can take equal arms. Anything that feels nice here for you. And it probably goes without saying by drawing nourishment here down into the hips. So that standing series is just a lot here into your glute needs. 
a lot into your hamstrings. So now coming into this moment of stillness, really be intentional and purposeful about the moment. Draw the breath in. And to me, and I know this sounds kind of weird, but like I always like to just imagine that there's like little sprinkles on the breath, <laughs> just like enhancement sprinkles to make the inhales and the exhales count. And go a little further. This also just makes me feel a little bit happier, kind of sprinkling my practice with whatever it is. You have eagle arms, go ahead and undo those. We'll all start to walk forward. You can just scoot the blocks back off to the front of the mat. Hands come forward, untuck the left toes, rock it forward and back. And then untuck the right toes, Ugh. rock it forward and back. And then choose your flow here. Maybe you want to take something totally different, right? Whatever you like. Few rounds of breath, kneading it back and down dog in the next couple. I'm gonna go all knee back and down dog if you're not already. On an inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step it forward slowly towards the left hand. Feet are hip distance apart here. Pressing down through this left foot and right big toe mount to float the torso up. Arms reach up. Draw the left thigh bone back. Lengthen long through the torso. Exhale, press down through the feet here and then inhale, come to straighten through the left leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale. Exhale. Really use your breath here. Don't be afraid of over-exaggerating the breath and really over-exaggerating how it shows up in the body. Just to play. Exhale, come down with the left knee bent. Inhale, really lengthen through both side bodies. Then exhale, bend the back knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Last one, exhale, bend. Open up the arms wide, right arm over left through eagle. Press through the feet here, draw the left side on back, lift up through the belly and feel the tailbone drop. And then take the length of the spine up and breathe the heart between the upper arm bones. One more deep inhale, exhale, open up the arms, inhale, straighten. And then go ahead and grab your blocks from here. One on each side of the front foot. We're gonna inhale, rock forward onto the right toes. Exhale, roll back, curl the left toes up. Forward and back. You can see here that my spine is just kind of staying parallel to the floor here as I come forward with a bit of a lift through the heart. As I come back, stays relatively straight, my left thigh will draws back. Forward and back, forward and back. Next time you come back, anchor the foot down. The right outside edge of the foot is pressing, and the toes are about 45 degrees out. Left big toe mount pressing here, and my left hip strong back. Soft bend through the front of this knee. Rub under the fingertips, scoop the heart forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, round. Inhale, unwind. This is the last one. Come down to somewhere sustainable for you. Good. Starting to unwind, bringing the hands back up to the blocks. You can scooch this left one out of the way for a moment. Right block comes in a little bit closer, and the left hand, for a second here, just bring the left hand back to this hip. Good. So that you're anchoring the hips back, and then the left heel, the hand comes here under the sacrum. Rock it forward a little bit, just kind of go into that opposite range of motion around the spine, and then press and draw the heel, the hand back. Sending the hips back and heart forward. Nice. Come up onto the fingertips here on the, on the block or on the earth. Roll the left shoulder back. The more you roll, the more important it is to keep this 
just left hip growing back. Maybe you stay. Maybe you open up the top arm. Take one more deep breath in and really open, expand. And then we're moving into that side to side lunge flow. So bring the left hand down. I apologize in advance as my bum is going to be towards you guys. <laughs> Rock it this way. Turn the toes out, come down onto this heel and onto the left heel. You can rock it side to side here. Just getting a nice stretch through the body. Again, if this is too much in the knees, options to stay higher, feet are parallel towards one another. This is also lovely for getting into the outside of the calf area. Good, next time you come around front, go ahead and spin it back into your lunge to start. Grab your block, lower the back foot down, peel it right back up to where we left off with all trikonasana, and then bring this left hand down to the hip, then through the front knee, and scoot the block forward. Back toes, come up on the back toes, draw the belly button in, and then send the weight forward, a little bit of weight into the hand here on the block, and kick back like you mean it through that right leg. Scoot the heart forward. And then start to come around into the side body. Moving into this twist, just as far as you'd like. Good. Take one more deep breath in. Slowly challenge yourself to come slowly out of it. Remove the blocks again, still slowly coming down to the standing splits, just for a breath or so. And then bend through the standing leg, lower the right toes down. On an inhale, sweep this left leg back and high. This gets nice lengthened. Exhale, rock the shoulders over the wrists. Bring the right or the left knee either right under the hip here, or maybe up a little bit higher, and we're shooting it through the outside of the mat. Flex through the left foot, drop the hips a little. Let the heart lift here. Good, and then bring the knee back underneath the chest and just lower it straight down under the hips. Not to the left side, straight down. Turn the left foot to the right side of the mat. This back knee tucks in behind, it goes to the left side of the mat. Grab your friend a block or blanket and go ahead and sit back. If you took any sort of variation that needs to be balanced on the side, go ahead and do that. Evil arms, for instance. Otherwise, if you were neutral on the previous side with the arm expression, maybe you do the same thing, maybe you want to do something different. Practicing here, part of our conditioning as yogis and also something that translates off the mat is when the breath gets going and the physical capacity or the mental capacity gets stressed or pushed how quickly we can come back to a space of regulation. And the breath, time and time again, has been shown to be a really good um, kind of kickstarter for that, to almost taking your hand to the dial and starting to turn down the intensity, coming back into that space of center. So maybe here as you're sitting in this posture, we're nourishing those spaces of the body that we're just working. We're focusing on the breath really intentionally, really clearly, in filling the body back up and coming back into this space of center and strength, resourcefulness and nourishment. If you have evil arms, go ahead and undo those from here. We'll go ahead and just all walk forward, rock it over the knees, switch across out of the way. <clears throat> Hands under the shoulders, right toes come back, scoot forward back. Good, and then press down through the hands, send the left foot back. Good, forward back. Nice, and then press down through the hands, lift the hips, roll it back into your down dog. Deep breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, rise up onto the toes. Lower the knees, come down all the way back into the tabletop. Super slow. Cross 
the ankles. And we'll send the legs forward. Moving into a bit of a forward fold series, um, I'm gonna grab my blanket. If it's hard to sit up without feeling a little bit of that curvature coming into the loose spine, even if you're flexible, it has nothing to do with flexibility. Um, sitting on the edge of the blanket is really helpful. And the trick there is that you just want to find the sit bones right to the edge. That just helps to tilt the pelvis forward slightly. We'll send both legs forward here for a moment, just bringing the hands down to the hips, maybe even somewhat back if you need that bend in the arms. Flexing the feet, throwing the toes back towards you, lifting the heart. And then we'll take the hands to the back of the left hamstring, drawing that knee up and in, doing a heel up and in as much as possible. And then just hug the knee. I'm going to grab our opposite elbows here. And I'm hugging and getting a nice compression in the left side of my body here, but still feeling that length and dignity through the spine. Good, and then we'll take the hands, assist this left leg up and over the right. Press down to the left big toe mound, and the right hand comes around to the front of the, um, the knee here as the left fingertips come back. And just work yourself into a gentle twist. Flex through that right foot. You can see I'm not kind of slapping here, I'm really pressing, flexing, drawing my belly button towards the inside of my left thigh. If you want to move into a deeper, Expression here, there's also binds. You can go ahead and do that. But again, this is one of those times where being at 50 or 75% of the quote unquote full expression of the posture, you get the exact same benefits here. <clears throat> Just something to chew on. <laughs> and then unwind. Again, assist this leg back up and over to its original start position, hug it in for a sec. And then let this knee open. The left sole of the foot is gonna to come to the inside of the right thigh. And you can just stay here. This is really, really nice, just focusing on opening up this leg. Or maybe take the hands towards the outsides of the knee here, finding that flat back expression through the chest. Or maybe you wanna walk it forward. Coming down, you've got, um, shirt or sweatshirt and let some assist here in forward fold you can just a few rounds of breath and walking the hands back up and bringing that knee up and then sending it down. You can shake the legs out if that feels nice. Sometimes even picking the hips up, the traction in the spine feels good. <clears throat> and then draw the right knee up. Again, I kind of take the crook of my elbow here into the knee, grab for opposite elbows, and just squeeze. One of my goals with this practice was to just sneak attack you guys with hugs to your body. So here's one. There's been several. <laughs> you let your mind walk back over through class. I don't know about you guys, but I haven't been getting as many hugs as I probably need in my day to day. Um, so I'm trying to make the ones that I can give myself go a little bit further. <laughs> we'll pick this leg up, assisting the right foot to the outside of the left thigh. Again, really press down through that big toe mount. It's an anchor point in this posture. The right hand comes back and behind. You can just hug and twist. You can take any variation here, but again, coming into a spot with a spine that's sustainable here. And then unwind, shifting the gaze back forward first, assisting this leg back up and over, hugging the knee in for just a moment, and then opening it up. Right sole of the foot comes to the inside of the left thigh. Again, lots of options here, staying vertical. Slight reach forward. If you're here, maybe just drawing that back of the 
fingertips. Or coming down as far as you like. Walk back on up, slowly, slowly, into those sweet moments at the end of practice. Send the legs long, shake them out. And then find your way back down onto your backs. I'm bringing with me a blanket, and I am bringing with me a couple blocks just in case. We'll roll down, hook the thumbs here, reach the arms up overhead, just stretch through the body. And then exhale, knees in towards the chest, gentle rocking side to side. So a bit more of an unconventional ending if you want it. Um, if you want to come into Shavasana, pretty easy, <laughs> pretty awesome. You can also roll the blanket up under the knees. This is a really nice way to get rid of the low back. You can also try placing a folded blanket right here on the hips, it's just really nice. Or if you'd like something a little different, Maybe bringing this blanket or the blocks underneath the hips and coming into a restorative bridge. So you can even stack your stuff here if you'd like. Block, blanket, however you'd like here to get the hips up as high as feels comfortable for you. Option, other option, legs up for restorative shoulder span. So just finding a posture that for you feels Yummy, I specifically want you to tune into the quality of yummy. <laughs> uh, something really special about these inversions is just after a few moments, right, starting to feel that kind of reversal in the system. You might start to get that cool tingly feeling. You do you, okay? See you in about two minutes. In any of the restorative postures, just gently start to make your way out so that the whole back finds its way under the spine. You really get a gentle but firm press down through the feet so that you can scoop that stuff out. And come down, pull back on the earth, maybe the knees fall to the midline. You're on your backs and shavasana, you just stay. Gently just bring the awareness back to your breath. Notice it washing up over the body with that familiarity. And 
And then a beautiful place here, if you so choose to set an intention for your time off the mat. So we're always in these spaces of cycles and here one is getting ready to come full circle, right? Just as we set intentions at the beginning of practice, stepping off the mat to the beginning of the next one. So if you find that it might be helpful just to take a moment here to set an intention in space, go ahead and do so. And just start to find your way on up to seat. Taking any gentle movements along the way that you'd like. Finding your way onto your side body eventually, maybe taking a breath or so there. Just to feel that shifting in support. And when you find your way on up into easy seat to finish, coming full circle, crawling through the hips. Feeling that length, grace, strength through the spine. And we'll just bring the hands to stack one over the top of each other in the space of the heart, taking a deep breath in. Exhale it out. And then taking a few moments here to acknowledge everything that conspired to get you on the mat today. This is part of a regular practice. If you come to my classes, often the challenge today to refer to new things, turn over a rock, maybe in a shadow. See how that too inspired to help get you here today. All of these sacred influences running around in our lives. Hold your hands to heart center. Gently lift the thumbs to the third eye in acknowledgement of this space. This community, this practice, and for all the gifts that they've given us, subtle and otherwise, we'll hold forward and send those out into the world where they're needed. Thanks so much for coming today, you guys. Namaste. Super appreciate it. <laughs> I'm gonna scoot up here and I'll meet you guys so I can say goodbye. <laughs> where are you? I'm Bye, lovelies. Bye. 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 Thank you, Sarah. Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. If this is your first time coming in, if you got this link through someone else, there's a chat feature over here, and I put a weekly sign up link in there because um, folks um, have been wondering how to sign up and get on the list for classes. This Tuesday and Thursday class will only be at noon at this link, so you know you can always do that. And then I also there are more people been asking about how to do donations. So that information is there as well. If you scroll up to the top, actually, let me just repaste it because people are asking as I'm sending. Um, and Sarah, how, go ahead. How do you do that? Oh, how do you? Oh, I see. Oh, okay. You, you know, yeah. So there's Venmo and there's PayPal, whichever is easier for you. Um, and you can batch yeah. donate on classes. It doesn't, you know, you do you. <laughs> You guys do you. And also, mm -hmm. if you're coming to these classes regularly and you have something you want to work on or if something in your home practice like is tweaking or feeling funny, you all have me via email now. So um, just feel free to reach out if you've got any questions or I can assist in any way. Yeah. Oh, thank you um, much. Yeah. I appreciate you guys. I've got Nicole to everyone. And that Would you say? I've got Nicole to everyone. But oh, you have? Been... Oh, shoot. <laughs> a cold, did you say? Oh, no, no, no. I, I've got a message from Nicole to everyone. Oh, great. Yes. What's the I message? Know. Can you say it again, Katrina? Um, that, there's nothing else in the chat. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, there's nothing else in the chat. Yeah, it says, uh... oh, wait, you've got a message from Nicole to everyone? Oh, from me to Nicole. Why is that going in privately? That's so funny. Oh, you, you have to change. Sorry, I first I wrote you privately, and then you responded to my message, which oh. was private. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. You guys are <laughs> there you go. Now it's in there. Can everybody see that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm learning something new every day. This is like trial by fire. It's so fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
All right. Well, I appreciate y'all. I'm going to sign off. Yeah. Water. Be good to yourselves. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Sarah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.